Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for one last video for today, and this is for Tool's new record, Fear Inoculum, that I just listened to. So I'm gonna discuss what I listened to and let you know my thoughts on this record. So let's dive into this review. Now this is their fifth studio album, and they haven't made a record since 13 years ago. So it has been a long time. <laughs> I just discovered this band a few weeks ago. And I didn't know that they make really good songs. Um, the title track was actually not too bad. There was... I do like the how each part or section in the song changes its melody and that's what I like about each song it does that it changes its melody like Numa does uh, Invincible definitely does that you get different feels and different uh, s different parts in the song that actually flow very well and the only songs that were not my favorites were the title track and chocolate chip trip that chocolate chip trip had a weird instrumental and uh, auto-tune bass bass in it or something like that or some kind of production uh synth or whatever that's in it that just doesn't work uh, I just found that to be a little bugging and I just couldn't like that song it was an instrumental and it was only like 4 minutes and 48 seconds in but for the most part nah I wasn't crazy about it um then you have well the tracks I did not listen to were track number 3 5 and 10 and that was Latani, Contre, La Pure, Legion, Inoculant, and Mocking Beat. Those are instrumental tracks, so when we get those tracks, it's just going to be instrumentals. So I don't see any point in reviewing that. Um, if I choose to review it, I'll let you guys know. But I don't think there's any point in reviewing it if it's going to be an instrumental it, I'll just I may come back at you Friday for those instrumental track reviews if I choose to but I just don't see the point in reviewing those when they're just instrumentals if you get what I'm saying um but descending calling voices and Tempest were great songs. The final track had a really good closer. And I really did enjoy that song. I just like the sections in each part of the song. That when it changes its tune. It just completely throws you off. And you're like okay. This is something different. <laughs> it, it definitely changes its tune in this album like you hear one melody that starts off like in fear inoculum it starts off really nice maynard doesn't come in to sing until like two minutes in a second and a second in or whatever and he's got a good voice it's weird but it's a good voice that he has uh he makes the song flow very well Numa was like 11 minutes and 52 seconds, and that was a little longer than Fear Inoculum. I think the shortest song on the regular edition, the physical CD, is uh, Chocolate Chip Trip, and that wasn't my favorite. I just cringed at that song. I was like, uh, I don't know about this. But... Tempest I really did like I liked the finisher for the album it was really great it had nice instrumentals the 
backing melody to it is really good. And when he says Tempest and one line in the towards the end of the song, I just like, okay. So he finally said the title name of the song. <laughs> but it pretty much this album flows very well. It just has a few iffy songs that don't do so well. It is a long album. It's like almost 80 minutes long. That's pretty long for a record. But I really did enjoy it. Um, Numa is, I think my favorites on this record have got to be Numa, uh, Tempest, and uh, Descending. Those were my favorites on this record. Everything else did a good job. And Fear Inoculum and Chocolate Chip Trip were not bad tracks. They just had weird instrumental instrumental kind of vibes to it that you just might cringe at. And I don't know, it just something about it feels off. Uh and I don't know. Sorry, I gotta take my glasses off. Uh, but because you were probably seeing my TV as well through the reflection of the glasses. <laughs> but pretty much, this album did pretty good. It is probably their best record. It's definitely better than the Perfect Circle record that came out last year. It beats it by a lot. It's this is definitely going to be an album that a lot of people are going to replay it a lot. It has a lot of replay value. It has great parts in the songs. Like it switches its melodies in the songs if you get what I'm saying. And it changes tune. It's kind of the same thing like I said, switches melodies, changes tune. And uh, the sound of each song is completely different from anything I've heard. Uh, this is the first Tool album I'm reviewing, so I'm not familiar with Tool that much, but I actually like them. I like Maynard in this band. I don't like him in Perfect Circle. They're just too weird. They made a few good songs, but from their last album that they made last year but they weren't good they just were too weird but out of 10 i'm gonna give fear inoculum a 9 out of 10 this did a really good job it's definitely got a lot of replay value like i said and there are lots of different sections in each part of the song that change and that's what I love about it it's not afraid to try something different and try different styles of instrumentation and how the song's gonna play out and it's really works but definitely comment below let me know what you guys thought of the fear inoculum album by tool if you've heard it and if you want to find this record, it's on Kingdom Leaks. Uh, if you want to find it. If not, uh, it's definitely going to come out on uh, Friday. Which is not too far away. But I was able to find it early because I usually download my music. Uh, but... I will return to you Tuesday for the Tuesday album review and Seether's Karma in Effect album review. Well, that's going to be the Tuesday album review. I already said it. I'm sorry. I was going to surprise you with that. Uh, but now you know which album review I'm going to be doing this Tuesday for the Tuesday album review. Sorry if I spoiled it. <laughs> I wanted to surprise you guys with that uh, thing. I'm sorry. I just slipped through my map. Slipped through. <laughs> but 
I also will return to you for Korn's Untouchables album review. And I guess I'll do the track reviews for for Tool's three extra bonus tracks. That should be coming out Thursday or Friday. And then I'm going to do Korn's Take a Look in the Mirror on Wednesday. Then See You on the Other Side by Korn on Thursday, the 29th. And then I'll be taking a break from doing Korn albums until September 4th, which should finish it up to September 9th. And then I'll be doing the new Korn album review on the 13th. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this <clears throat> review. Uh, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.